as a graduate of the renowned Medill School of Journalism at Northwestern University back in 1969 when campus protests were the rule of the day, I entered the field of news reporting and feature story writing using the tried and true methods practiced by journalists for over a century. Then I taught those same methods for decades, but that was then. That was before technology and the internet began revolutionizing almost every part of our lives, but especially the way we communicate. Remember this? When I was growing up, many of us learned to read sitting on our parents' laps, looking at comics and even articles and opinion pieces. If, however, you are a student, you are a student now, chances are this would not be in your memory bank. Of course, you might remember watching news on a TV. Ever since CNN, the cable news network, was founded in 1980 by Ted Turner, Americans have gotten a taste of 24-hour news availability. With the internet, however, the choices, including a vast array of points of view and quality of view, have, have exploded. So what becomes obvious is that today's journalism students cannot settle for business as usual and instruction or practice as usual either. In fact, the de definition of who is a journalist has become an important question, as is the definition of news itself. These two fundamental issues serve as a springboard for a new, new online course I began teaching this year, 2011, called Social Media for Journalists at Laney College in Oakland, California. Social media, and here you can see Twitter and a Facebook group I had for my class. Next, uh, LinkedIn, where, down here, LinkedIn where you set up a profile, and we need to get Twitter, and Twitter. Okay, social media is certainly not a substitute for careful reporting and skilled writing, but they do provide opportunities for every individual and organization to become a publisher. You can give me. Thinking people need to understand, harness, and direct our future communic and direct how our future communications will evolve. During the, the semester, students will join the blogosphere, starting their own blogs, reading those of others, and contributing comments to others' blogs. They will post other content to online forums, social media group discussions. They will develop a professional online persona, beginning with a LinkedIn profile, producing a Twitter stream of valuable tweets, and a Facebook fan page. In closing, I'd like to read from the blog post of one of last semester's students. It was entitled, My Social Media for Journalists Top Ten List. Here is a slightly edited version of his article. When I enrolled in this course, I had aspirations of learning a thing or two about the art of journalism and gaining a deeper understanding of the capabilities of social media. I had had ideas about how the various social media platforms worked with one another, but in retrospect, I don't think I truly appreciated the potential of social media as a journalist's best friend. Thanks to the rigors of this course, I got a true taste of what it would be like to have a real job working for a publication, in this case having Sherry as my boss editor. Many of you have already realized that we've been operating with a course load on the graduate level, at least that's what all my friends with graduate degrees are telling me after reading my blog. I don't think I've ever been challenged on such a grand scale as I have in this course. And here uh, is a chart with Billy's top ten list uh, lessons from social media for the journalist course. Number ten, after reading a blog, leave a comment. Number nine, using the hashtags while tweeting can open the door to more Twitter followers and blog readers. Number eight, Separate your personal and professional Facebook profiles by setting up a Facebook business page. Number seven, LinkedIn is a great place to connect and learn from journalists around the world. Number six, when curating for an article, find sources you trust. Number five, if you're stuck in a rut, attend professor's office hours. Number four, take time to read classmates' postings. Number three, social media plus journalism equals the future. Number two, get your feet wet and explore new emerging social media sites. Number one, take social media for journalists to make a significant impact on your future. And if you'd like to read the whole post, here is a shortened link, bit.ly, and then there's a Q, capital Z, 95VO. Thank you, and hope to see you in the online course soon.